hello guys today we will be uh, we will be understanding uh, init method and the self method in python classes so basically what they are so to understand the meaning of classes in actual way we need to understand the built in function that is init okay so basically all class that have function uh, it needs to be uh, uh, go through the init method so which is always uh, get executed when the class is been initiated okay so what I mean by that is whenever you call the uh, person class this method is by default need to uh, like to be uh, like executed any uh, whatever happens anything happens this method will get executed any anyhow okay so so basically uh, so this this method is called when the object is created okay from the class and it allow class to you know initialize the attribute of classes so what all attribute these all attribute to be you know initialized so whenever we call person these all line will get executed automatically irrespective of whether you call it or not okay so this is what uh, init does so basically it help us so uh, whenever I initialize the person class it will get executed now there is self parameter okay now self parameter is a reference to the current instance okay of the class and it is used to you know access variable that belongs to that particular class okay so so like I defined self but it can be from uh, uh, different name also like self1 self2 whatever you want to give name but make sure the first parameter is self okay that's all you need to take care so basically it it help us uh, you uh, use the variable uh, uh, use the variable that is defined inside that particular classes so so uh, so basically it does not have to be like um, you know same name self but you can change it okay but but the thing is uh, uh, we use self just to access their variable okay so now let's uh, come to the example part now so I have defined a class and I have defined init method here now I'm giving self as a first parameter and then name and the age that is uh, I will be passing through outside now let's say uh, as you can see I have like defined one self parameter that is name one age parameter that is age which is coming from uh, here and uh, whenever a person call this person class they have to uh, you know pass name and age now let's I'm running this you know class okay so as you can see uh, here I am calling person class and passing name and their age okay inside uh, this p1 object now once it is done if you want to like print the name this is how you will be doing like we have seen in class tutorial so p1 dot name p1 dot age it will throw all the outputs now let's see an an another example so here I have defined vehicle class where v equal to 4 okay now I, I am defining the init method here with door uh, parameter here okay so with self okay so now here what I am doing I am printing and here I am saying object created with door whatever the value of door ha has okay so I am running it so you can see I have got the output uh, that we have door equal to 2 so uh, as you can see we have defined wheel equal to 4 but whatever we have passed that is got executed so let's say if I am not defining any uh, number I am not passing any number so that time what will happen it will throw an error because it's saying that this door parameter is required okay so so that's why you need to pass that particular you know parameter now let's say instead of uh, you know door I am using their wheel variable which is I defined okay now let's say I am using it here so what will happen so whatever 
uh, so let's say you have defined wheel equal to 4 but you are passing uh, wheel as 2 so whatever the number you pass it will be replicated with the value that you are passing okay so that's why instead of 4 uh, it is getting 2 here okay so this is what uh, basically it means now let's skip that part now okay so let's take an another example okay so here I am defining two objects car and van with different value of door okay so as you can see whatever the value you pass it will return that particular value only because you are using it here and just passing it now let's take an another example similar so basically here also you have defined another vehicle class with the self parameter and a name variable so what 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 you doing here you basically uh, you know setting name equal to name here and then you calling it okay and in vehicle one you have passed car as a you know parameter and then uh, in the vehicle two you have passed van as a parameter so if if i uh, you know print the you know names what it will return it will return whatever you have passed so this is how we work with uh, init and self in python classes okay now we have another example so basically uh, this is more interesting so here we have we have defined vehicle class and i am saying wheel equal to 4 and then inside init method uh, i have name door and seat okay and i define i have define all of them uh, all the parameters self dot name door seat all of them now let's run it okay so after running it i'm basically creating the uh, vehicle uh, basically calling the uh, vehicle class and then i'm passing name number of door and number of seat okay now you will see uh, uh, i mean for the first one which is car object uh, i'm getting car uh, uh number of door equal to 2 number of seat equal to 2 and then for the second one i am getting uh i mean the name equal to van number of door equal to 6 number of seat equal to 12 so this is how uh, uh, uh you will be working with multiple parameter like this now uh let's come to uh, global and little bit of uh, global and local parameter understanding so let's say in a class you have an object okay now uh, now let's say you have defined i equal to 1 2 3 here okay now what will happen this this you have defined globally okay now inside uh, init method you have defined another i which is equal to 345 so at that time what do you think what will happen uh, so if you are calling uh, you know uh, I have defined a equal to my class object or uh, sorry my class and a is the object of my class I am calling a dot i so first it will come here it will check what is the value of i so value of i is 1 2 3 now like I said in it will uh, get like automatically executed even if you don't you know do anything okay so it will get executed by itself only so that's why uh, when I called a dot i that's why it returned me uh, 3 4 5 now if i call my class dot i without creating any object that time it will return me 1 2 3 because i am not telling to be i am not creating basically object i am just calling my class to return me the value of i so that time it will return me 1 2 3 so hope you understand the difference between all of them self init objects classes yeah thank you